Okay, Charles LeBlanc here. It's Thursday night. Uh, what time is it? The clock is right there. 7.30 Thursday night. Nobody knows that I'm filming this. Even the person that films don't know what the hell I'm going to talk about. Can you say uh, Canada is beautiful? You. Yeah, you. Can you say that? No, she don't want to say. Okay. So anyway, uh, I'm going to post this video tomorrow afternoon when the action's all done in there. Now, I want to see if I could predict what's going to happen here at 1.30 on Friday. Jen Wombo was found guilty by Judge uh, Julian Dixon, idiot, um, because, make a long story short, she was forced to strip seven men strip her at the at the Chalmers Hospital to RCMP, Todd Pugh, and then uh, she had been the same, maybe she wasn't the same before, but she wasn't the same after. So, what happened? Uh, she seen Todd Pugh went to intimidate her. We got the film. I seen, I, I watched those films, and the RCMP was clearly intimidating her. She says, I'll kill you. Oh my God, we can't have that. There was a big trial. The psychiatrist said she suffers from uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. And uh, the judge said, no, psychiatrist wrong, guilty. Now, she's gonna be sentenced tomorrow at 1.30. This is what I'm gonna predict. See, this building here, the justice system in Fredericton, don't know how to deal with people with mental illness. The judge went to, really, they should just, this, the issue should be dropped. But no, they want to prove the less fortunate that they want to put them in jail. They just want to intimidation, authority. And he's going to say, Miss Rumble, I sentence you to, I predict, two months in jail. Not house arrest, in jail. And then he's gonna have a strong voice. He's gonna say with the sheriff, surround her, escort her in jail immediately. Now, this woman is scared of people in uniform. They don't know how to deal with people with mental illness. I hope I'm wrong on this. I say she's gonna flip. She's gonna flip out. The sheriff's gonna be, gonna be it's gonna be chaos in that courtroom. She's gonna be surrounded by 10, our sheriff, she's gonna fight back. They're going, oh, it's gonna be terrible. Then the Irving media will say, whoa, uh, uh, a person with uh, emotionally uh, disturbed person in court, blah, blah, blah. They're gonna make her look bad. Fredericton is not, don't know how to deal with people with mental illness. Look at me. They put me in jail for two days because I refused to sign a tricky condition not to be in the corner of Queen and Westmoreland. I would have been in the car, been in the corner, I would have been in jail for months. <laughs> not that stupid. But I paid the price, Judge, racist judge, Julian Dixon, uh, ordered me in jail and cut off my medication. Not good, but anyway, tomorrow I say, it's gonna be chaos in there and I will set up a meeting. I seen her this morning, the Justice Minister Marie-Claude Blais. I have, the, these bureaucrats have got to do something about the justice system. It's so corrupt. That same woman was tased by the Fredericton Police Force, uh, Stephen Stafford, last week because her son was riding a bicycle without a helmet. And they follow her. He, Stephen Stafford, follow the kid in her home and she came to see what's going on and next thing you know she's tased. So I predict tomorrow is going to be chaos. I hope I'm wrong. But there's no justice system here in Fredericton.